It's one of the most intriguing questions of the year, and it could be answered before the end of the month. Is North Korean Chairman Kim Jong-un going to visit Seoul? If so, he would be the first North Korean leader to come to the South Korean capital since the division of the Koreas 70 years ago. But how likely is that? When might it happen if it does go ahead? And what can we possibly expect from such a trip? I'm Alex Jensen, answering those questions for Korea Now's K News Today. Starting with the latter, South Korean President Moon Jae-in said it best when he declared that Chairman Kim's Seoul visit will hold significance in itself. Moon was the one, remember, who secured the promise from Kim to visit the South Korean capital when they met in Pyongyang in September. Frankly, it's true that even just witnessing Kim in Seoul would be remarkable. Then again, so too was the sight of him meeting US President Donald Trump in Singapore in June. And we're yet to see the real fruits of that. But Moon went further. He said Kim's visit would be a peaceful message to the world and also a message of his commitment to denuclearization, commitment to the development of inter-Korean relations. Another important feature of Kim's potential trip to Seoul would be the opportunity for Moon to again act as a mediator. The South Korean president has said as much himself, and Trump recently asked him to tell Kim that he is ready to give everything he promised to North Korea should Pyongyang faithfully implement its promised denuclearization steps. The North's leader committed to the complete denuclearization of his country in exchange for corresponding measures from the US. While Moon and Trump remain committed to sanctions, the South's leader said that corresponding measures may not only mean a reduction or removal of sanctions, but may be a delay or reduction of a South Korea-US military exercise, humanitarian assistance, or even non-political exchanges. Now, that seems like a hopeful perspective, but perhaps the most meaningful aspect of a possible Seoul visit by Kim would be trust. It would let the world know that a North Korean leader has kept their promise to visit the heart of what had been enemy territory, that things have truly changed. It would also be a sign that Kim trusts South Korea enough to safely host him. And trust is arguably the basis of meaningful progress in any relationship. On to the timing of such a trip. Presuming for a moment that Chairman Kim is going to fulfill his promise. His vow back in September was that he would come to South Korea's capital at an early date. Moon said that meant within 2018. The thinking had been that Kim would first meet Trump for their second summit, and then that would pave the way for his Seoul visit and a possible wave of inter-Korean cooperation. The problem, of course, has been that US-North Korea relations have been mostly stalled since June. On a positive note, when Moon and Trump met in Argentina for the recent G20 summit, they agreed that it wouldn't be a problem if Kim were to visit Seoul before he holds his next talks with Trump, which is expected around January or February. Trump said Kim's trip to South Korea would help create fresh momentum for efforts to denuclearize the Korean peninsula. But time really is running out for this year. It's been reported that South Korea has been preparing just in case, although the country's state intelligence agency just rejected media speculation that Kim may visit Seoul from December 18th to 20th, saying that December 17th is the anniversary to mark the death of Kim's father, Kim Jong-il. Remember also what Moon said. What is more important than whether the visit will be made within the year or not is that Chairman Kim's visit to Seoul may further promote North Korea's denuclearization and lead to greater progress. That said, the security planning alone would be huge for Kim to come here to Seoul, and that can't all happen on a provisional, just-in-case basis. South Korea is not in talks with North Korea about possible dates for a visit to Seoul by the North's leader Kim Jong-un, but all possibilities remain open, according to Unification Minister Cho Myung-yoon. No discussions are underway with North Korea about the schedule, Cho said. Asked by a lawmaker about a rumor that the government has talked to the operator of Seoul Tower, a landmark on top of Mount Namsan, the minister said he knows nothing about it. But Cho's ministry has also been adamant that Kim's visit will be possible before the end of this year. Moon and Trump are on board. Only Kim stands in the way. Analysts are suggesting that North Korea wants more progress with the US before committing to the Seoul trip, blaming Washington for the ongoing stalemate. And if Kim's Seoul visit is strongly linked to US-North Korea talks, that could be bad news for an imminent breakthrough. 
and even early next year, is as uncertain as many of Trump's other foreign policy proclamations. Ultimately, though, the decision on Kim's Seoul visit for now rests with the North Korean side.